an extract from the reasons for chastisement of a nation and its people. Watch out when chastisement sets in. Chastisement is a rebuke or severe reprimand of an individual or a nation. It is due to disobedience, rebellion or lack of fear of God. It follows from initial verbal warnings, either directly by God or his servants. God also chastises nations, before they go deeper into rebellion. Usually, chastisement is accompanied with a whip or punishment, designed to get the person, people or nation to change their behavior for good. The form and size of discipline or chastisement depends on the severity of the offense. For a nation, God may withhold growth, or allow economic challenges and stagnation. Or withhold rain, or allow drought or scarcity. Or allow a plague and pestilence. Or allow an enemy, even small bandits, to terrify the nation. Or be disgraced by smaller forces. In the end time, like in the days of Noah, the wickedness of people will be great and their thoughts continually evil. Genesis 6 verse 5. So individuals and nations, from America, to Africa, to Asia, Europe, and other parts of the world, must watch out to know the reason or reasons why God's indignation and chastisement sets in on a nation. Watch out when bloodshed of children and of innocent people becomes common, like a small thing. For the earth will begin to disclose the blood that have been shed on it. And will no longer conceal its slain, but cry unto God for judgment. Isaiah 26 verse 21. Watch out when witchcraft, sorcery, human sacrifices, rituals, cannibalism, and demand for human parts, begin to take root in a land. Watch out when terrorism, banditry, and kidnapping, whether for the evil pleasure of it, or for ransom and money becomes a common thing in a land. Watch out when immorality of all kinds, including sodomy, and abuse of human natural sexuality become a common thing in a land. Watch out when injustice and the oppressions of the poor and needy, the orphans, the widows, and strangers begin to take root in a land, Isaiah 1 verse 17. Watch out when the love and quest for money, wealth and pleasure, becomes the common thing and focus of a people. Watch out when idolatry whether of objects, graven images, persons, leaders, ancestries, etc. in place of God, begins to take root in a land. For God will not share his glory with any other, Isaiah 42 verse 8. Watch out, when falsehood, deception, lies and lack of truth begins to take hold in the land, society, and in the church. When the truth of God's word is being watered down, to satisfy the people's craving or lust. Watch out, when those who profess to be followers of the Lord, in the church, turn a bland eye, keep quiet instead of speaking up against evil and abomination. When they instead promote the wicked into lofty positions in their assemblies for the reward of favor, money and power. Or in some cases, some of the church leaders and members also become secret partakers of the abominations and evil practices in the land. Watch out when the laws of God are being pushed aside in a land. When lawlessness, disobedience, rebellion and wickedness against the things of God, begin to take root in a land. For God is a righteous and jealous God, who will defend his laws and name. Watch out, when those who profess to be followers of the Lord in the church, begin to join cults and secret societies and satanic groups to seek for power, other than from the Lord himself. When they prophesy with the spirit of lies and deception. Watch out when the spirit of Jezebel and Nicolaitien begin to gain stronghold in a land. Watch out, for no one can serve two different masters. You will either hate one or love the other. What part has righteousness with sin and lawlessness, or fellowship between light and darkness, or agreement between the Messiah and Belial or inheritance between a believer and unbeliever? All the temple and holy worshippers of God with idols and worshippers of idols. Or God and Mammon, 2 Corinthians 6 verses 14 to 16, Matthew 6 verse 24. When sin and lawlessness begin to take root in a land, the holy ones of God, the watchers of the land and of the people. 
they must cry out for the people to change and to the Lord for his help and forgiveness. For the alternative that follows is worse. So pray. The scripture says. 2 Chronicles 7, from the End Time Bible, ETB. Verse 14. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from their sinful ways, then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin and heal their land. Pray and pray aright. Not just for the power of God to punish the enemy or instrument of the chastisement. But also pray, realizing, acknowledging and confessing the sins of the land, the people or nation. When a people seek forgiveness and mercy, it does not take long for God to act. In Isaiah 6 verse 8, the Lord asked, Who will I send? Who will go? Ezekiel 22 verse 30 So I looked for a man among them who would stand in the gap before me on behalf of the land, so that I would not destroy it. But I found no one. So let the Daniels, Nehemiahs, Moses, Aaron's, Joshua's, Elijah's, and the likes in this generation, arise. And stand in the gap to pray and to intercede for the land and the people. You can access this and other postings on YouTube. Just type or search for ETCDM.